Hi guys, welcome to another video, and I made up a new bracelet, I call it the Stepping Stones Bracelet. So, these are what, this is what it looks like, and um, basically the front has bands running through the middle, while the other ones poof up, and then on the side it has another, um, it has other bands running through with, and also on the other side, and on the back, it has, like, these poofy things that look kind of like, um, dots, stones, I guess you could call them. And that's why I call it the stepping stones. You will need a rainbow loom or any loom that has a staggered position. You'll also need a rainbow loom hook or crochet hook and some bands. I'm using black for the one running down the middle and the sides and I will also be using Persian purple and yeah so I'm using this one it's a galaxy color I'm also using purple Persian and baby blue sweets I think so yeah let's get started First, you're going to want to make sure that your arrow is pointing up and it's in a staggered position. And the first bands we're going to lay are the, um, the ones um, running through the middle and the ones running through the sides, which is black in my case. And starting, you're going to um, make triangles with three pegs. So this middle one and these um, diagonal ones. So you're going from the middle and out like this so it's a triangle and you're gonna do that up the loom so another triangle another triangle another triangle and um, you're gonna continue this all the way to the second to last um, triangle and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm almost done. And... You will know that you're at the second to last triangle. Because at the end, these are the end pegs that we're not going to put triangles on. So, yeah. Okay. So, once you have your triangles, we're going to lay the colored bands. Like I said, to lay um, the colored bands, we're going to make diamonds. And so to make that, you're going to take whatever color you're using. In this case, I'm using my galaxy. And from the very first peg, the staggered one in the middle, you're going to go out to the left or right. It doesn't really matter. And then you're going to go out to the opposite side. And then, um, to look like a diamond, you're going to close it back, which is going here to here. And then the side one also from here to here. So it should look something like this. It's just a four peg diamond. And then, before we move on to our next diamond, we're going to take our next color, which in this case is blue. And from the very first peg that we did, we're going to put it to the next peg up and make sure it is not overlapping so it should look like this we have our diamond and our rubber band going from one peg up to the other one now we're going to do our next diamond so taking your next color which is blue for me and I'm going to go to the side and then I'm going to go to the other side and then I'm going to close back the diamond and close the other side of our diamond. And it looks like this. And then taking our next color, we are starting where we started the diamond. So like, not uh, right here, but like where we started the diamond. And put that up so it should look like this. So we have our diamonds and then we have our single chain that's going up and then taking your next color which is Persian for me 
you're going to go out again and create a diamond like the previous ones. So you should get the hang of it. It's just a diamond. And then at the start of the diamond, you're um, putting a band from here to here. I'll do this one more time. So this is what it's looking like. We have the diamonds, and then we have the one that's going up a peg. And you're just going to do this. So, out. And then back in. And then one up. And you do this all the way up the loom. But then um, at um, the last peg, or not the very last peg, but right here or here, you could wait for me. Because the ending is a little different. Okay, so I'm getting to my last one. So connect it with that single chain. Then make that diamond. And then taking that next color. And then we are going to go to the next one. So this is our last one and it should end at this peg. So go out. Okay, so this is an overview of what your loom should look like. So at the bottom we have the triangles that we made in the beginning. And we have the diamonds and then the bands connecting each diamond together. And yeah, we now we have to do the, ho the hooking process. Also, don't forget your band that's connecting. Because I almost forgot that. So you're just going to put it there. Okay, so now we're going to do the hooking process. The first thing you're going to want to do is make a cap band. And to make a cap, gan cap band, you're going to pull it, make it in a figure eight, and then put it back to it another side, the opposite side. And you're going to put it on this end peg. Okay, so now what we're going to do is that cap, we're going to go inside of that cap band we just put and it should be two bands and we're going to grab the band right here and it's the one that you hook forward I'll call it the forward band and then you're going to go inside again and grab the band that goes to one side of the diamond in this case for me it's going to the right and then go inside of the cap band again grab that band and hook it to the left Okay, so instead of hooking the um, other side of the diamond, we're going to hook it from here. So that forward band that we hooked up, we're going to in go inside of that, grab that first band, and it should hook to one of the sides. And you're going to grab the second band in there, and hook it to one of the sides again. Okay, so now you're probably going to want to push these down because they will probably pop off if you don't. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. So this is kind of our cap band now. We're going to go inside of here, which is our forward band. We're going to grab the, another, the other forward band. We're going to hook it up. And then we're going to hook the sides of the diamond. So hook this one to itself. And then hook the other one Okay, so then again, you're going inside of that forward band. You're grabbing that band, hooking it back to one of the sides, and going inside the same one, hooking it back. Okay, so we have just completed two of the diamonds so far. We're going to do it again. We're going to grab the forward band, and if it's kind of overlapping like that, you could just tug on it a little and then go inside and grab it and hook it forward and then 
and then you're going inside of the same band and hooking this, the diamonds outwards and then going inside of the forward bands and hooking the bands back inwards if you get what I'm saying okay so again we're going inside of the forward band hooking the other forward band forward because it's a forward band get it get it anyways you're then going inside of the same forward band you're grabbing the one that goes outwards and hooking it outwards and grabbing the other outwards bands and ha hooking it outwards and then you're going inside of the forward bands band and you're hooking this back inward to where we just hooked the outward bands and hooking this one back also to the other side okay now we're gonna bring the forward band forward and they're kind of overlapping so I'm just gonna grab the right band which is this one right here and hooking it forward and going inside of the same band hooking it outwards again hooking this outwards and then going inside the forward band hooking it back to it back inwards and this and then hooking this one back inwards also you should probably get what I'm saying by now basically what you're doing is hooking the forward band which is this top one and then you're hooking the outwards band which is the second and the third band and then you're hooking these bands back over here now when um you're gonna hook it all the way down the loom and then I'll be right back okay so now I'm hooking my last diamond I'm hooking this forward and then I'm hooking the diamond oops hooking the diamonds outwards And then going inside of the forward band, hooking it back. Okay, so once you get all your diamond band hooks, this is what it should look like. It has like a circle kind of, and then the bands. Here's an overview. Okay, once you have hooked those, we're going to have to hook the, um triangle bands hooking the triangle bands is quite fusing confusing so you have to watch very carefully okay so if you remember in the beginning we put the cap band under that cap band there is the triangle band you're gonna hook just this one portion of the triangle band upwards and it should look like this okay and we also have some triangle bands on the outside here at the very, very bottom. So if I could pull it, you could see it. Okay, so this is the most important part. You're gonna make, you have to make sure that you go inside of all of those bands and grab this black band right here, the triangle band, and you're gonna hook this one forward so it should look like this and you're also gonna hook this bottom band but on the other side and you're going gonna go inside of all of them make sure it's all of them and you're gonna grab it and hook it forward and if any bands pop off like that you could just simply reattach them back to itself, or you could just leave it. In this case, I'm just leaving it. Okay, so now that we hook the outsides, we have to hook, um, we have to attach this one too. So, going inside the second peg, you're going inside of this band. You're going under the one we hook forward, grabbing the other triangle band, hooking that forward too. Okay, now we're moving on to our next um, triangular band. We're going inside the, one of the sides, inside all of the bands, grabbing that bottom one, 
hooking it forward. Same on the other side. Go inside all of them. Yeah. And grab it. And hook it forward. And then we have to do this middle one. So you're going inside of them. Grabbing that next band. Not this one, but the next one. And you're going to go around the peg and pull it forward, just like that. I'm going to do this twice more. You're going inside of the side one, grabbing that bottom one, hook it upwards, also the other side. Grab it, hook it up, and then the middle again, going inside of these, grabbing the next triangular band, and hooking that forward. So you're doing this all the way up your loom. I'm going to repeat it one more time. You're going into one of the sides, pushing these bands back, grabbing the bottom, hooking it forward. Then the next one, I mean the next side, going inside of all of them, grabbing it, and hooking it forward. And then you're going inside of this middle one, grabbing the next triangular band, pulling it around the peg, and up. So you're going to do this all the way up the loom. And I'll do it on camera so that you can kind of see what I'm doing. So you're hooking up. I will be right back. I am almost done. I'm going to side up. Hooking this side up. And as normal, hooking this one up. But um, if we go inside of here and grab this one, we can't bring it forward because there's no other peg. So you're going to go inside. Grab that bottom triangular and bring it back to the middle. So we went from here to here. We're also going to do it on this side. So go inside all those bands, push them back. Grab that band. So I'll do it from the side view. So the bands got overlapping. So just a second. Okay, like normal, you're grabbing that bottom band. So you're going to go inside all of these, grab this one, and you're going to hook it to here. So it should look um, like this. And now we have to end it. Okay, so at the very end, you're going to insert your hook through all of these bands. Well, um, and then you're going to grab another band, and you're going to hold it, and pull it through, but don't pull it all the way through, because your finger's holding the other end. Reattach it to your hook, and then grab a C-clip or an S-clip, and you're going to close off your bracelet. Once you have done that, we are going to start taking it off our loom, so you could just like pull it off but I wouldn't recommend that because that will happen this might fall off or something I have to put that back okay so how I take it off is I um, go on the sides and then I just pull off the sides off first 
I just pull this off all the way down the loom. Okay, and then after that, I turn it around and do the other side. Once you have taken off the side, you start doing the middle. So first, you're just going to take this off, and you can pull it off or use your hook. I'm just pulling it. I'm going to use my hook actually so I don't break it. So what I do is like I pull a portion of it off and then I pull off the remaining bands with my hook. So like here I'll pull these off with my hook and I'll pull some other ones, pull these ones off with my hook, pull some other ones and it should look super duper crazy. So, to get it in place, like this one, you're going to have to stretch it out a lot. So, like, what I like to do is I like to turn it onto the bumpy side and then just run my thumb through the middle while pulling. And it kind of stretch, it stretches it out a lot, actually. And, like, and then this part will get poofy. And you could kind of like tug on the bands to make it evenly distributed. Just keep on tugging on it. And you might need, well yeah, you prob you'll probably need an extension. And yeah, that's how you make this bracelet. The Stepping Stones bracelet. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial on how to make this stepping stones bracelet. It was really fun to make and there's so many possibilities with different colors. I did rainbow here as you can see. And it comes out super cool but you have to stretch it out you know. And I will see you guys next time.